hello everyone uh, in this video we are going to uh, see how to <coughs> how to create a lamp using a switch okay so in the previous video you have seen how to create a lamp using a hub and you have seen that uh, whatever data a hub receives it will forward the same data to all the systems in the lamp okay so we don't need such kind of uh, thing going on that is sending the data to all other systems so to overcome that uh, we will use a device called switch okay so using a switch uh, the data from the uh, sender will go only to the receiver and not other systems okay so let's create the lan first so uh, place four pieces okay so let's rename them a b c and d now let's place a switch so go to network devices and the second subcategory is switches let's use this 2960 switch which is a common user switch and let's rename this switch 0 to uh, switch okay now you need to connect all the four pieces to the switch so for connecting pc and a switch we will use straight through cable because they are uh, dissimilar devices okay so this is the straight through cable so click on the pc select fast ethernet click on switch and you can select any one of these fast ethernet ports so switch has many ports so i am selecting fast ethernet 0 by 1 again do the same thing for remaining pieces fast ethernet 0 fast ethernet 0 by 2 fast ethernet 0 fast ethernet 0 by 3 fast ethernet 0 fast ethernet 0 by 4 okay so at the switch you can see these orange symbols right so whenever you are connecting a pc to a switch it takes some time to uh, initialize itself so you can see here this orange has become a green triangle similarly the remaining things will also become green okay so in the real world also when you are uh, connecting pcs to switch the same thing happens it takes some time okay so now let's assign IP addresses. So click on the PC, select desktop tab, click on IP configuration. And here you need to queue a private IP address like 192.168.1.1. And repeat the same process, desktop IP configuration 192.168.1.2. Again, desktop IP configuration 192.168.1.3 and last PC desktop IP configuration 192.168.1.4. Okay, so now we have given IP address to all the four PCs, and if you see this switch, switch is a layer two device. So in the OSI model, layer 2 is data link layer. So example for layer 2 devices is switch. And another, another device is bridge. Okay. So switches and bridges are layer 2 devices. Okay. So let's try to see whether this system A can communicate with system C or not. So to see that, click on system A, PCA, go to command prompt and type ping, PING ping and give the system C address which is 192.168.1.3. Okay, this is the target IP address and hit enter. Now you can see that the system A is able to communicate with system C. Okay. So it has sent, A has sent four packets to C and uh, C has sent four packets to A. Okay, right. So this is how you check 
whether one system is able to communicate with another system through command prompt okay now let's go to simulation so by default all the protocols are selected so let's click on this show all none now click on the edit filters now here we are interested in two protocols which is arp address resolution protocol and icmp internet control message protocol okay so let's close uh, now let's add a pdu so this pdu is actually the ping command which we have seen in the command prompt okay so i am clicking pdu i am selecting the source as a and destination as d so if you have watched the previous video which was creating a lan using a switch you have seen that whenever uh, switch, uh, the hub is receiving a packet from a system it is sending to all other devices right so let's see how the switch behaves so next so you can see data is going from a to switch now if i click on next oh you can see the data is again being forwarded to b c and d actually it should be sent to d right but it was also sent to b and c so if you see here these are not icmp packets these are arc packets right but whereas in hub, uh, hub only sent ICMP packets to the remaining systems. But here the switch is sending ARP. So what is the deal here is uh, whenever uh, the switch is receiving data from a new system, for example, here the new system is A and it, it doesn't know about the destination, which, which, in, which uh, I mean, in this case, the destination is system D. If it doesn't know about the destination, it will simply broadcast the message to all other systems. Okay. It will broadcast the message to all other systems. That's why you are seeing the data being sent to B, C and D. Now let's click next. Okay. So now D is sending R packet back to switch. Now see what happens when I click next. Uh, now switch is sending the packet only to A. Okay. And the communication is completed. Right. So the thing you have to remember is uh, whenever you are sending data for the first time after connecting to the switch, it will send the same data to all other systems. From next time onwards, it will send only to the destination. So for example, let's delete this PDU and again try to add PDU from A to D. Now see what happens when I click next. So A is sending to switch and you can see here now, right? Switch is sending the packet only to D. Now D sends to switch and switch forwards to A okay so remember that only for the first time the switch will broadcast the message so after that broadcast it will know which system is connected to which port and from the next time onwards it will send only to the destination okay so this is how you create a lamp using a switch so that's it for this video thank you